Hello viewers, I am Dr. Ranjana Rai Mishra from Department of Botany, Kalindi College, University of Delhi and today I am going to discuss with you about how our religion society helps in conservation of biodiversity in India and this I will discuss with a special reference to sacred plants. So first of all, let me discuss what is biodiversity and what is the importance of biodiversity. Diversity or biodiversity is present among all living organisms. It is defined as a sum total of all life forms at all levels of organization in biological system. The concept of biodiversity conservation says that for mother nature every living organism has a right to exist irrespective of its value and size. It means that whether the organism is small or large, it does not matter. Every organism has a every right to exist and live. Biodiversity provides us with ecological services, commercial products, drugs, and it has its own aesthetic value. Now, let me discuss with you how our society helps in conservation of biodiversity. In the past, in the history, we have seen many environmental movements for the protection of uh, trees from being cut. So in history, many of you must be knowing the story of Amrita Devi, who is a, was a Bishnoi uh, woman of Rajasthan and who hugged Khejri trees so that she can protect her uh, from cutting it. And along with uh, her, her two daughters uh, also sacrificed their life for uh, the protection of trees. The same story was rep uh, repeated in foothills of Himalayas in the form of Chipko Andolan and which was by Sundalal Bhukuna, who is a well-known environmentalist. Now, the biodiversity conservation can also be done in the form of sacred groves. What are sacred groves? Sacred groves are patches of land where a few trees grows or it is a forest of several acres which are usually dedicated to gods and god goddesses and it is usually believed that the tree spirits live there. So no one is permitted to cut any tree or any plant or kill animals or birds or do any harm in any form of the life in this area. So we have many sacred groves in India. And what is the eco significance of these sacred groves? So the ecologically sacred groves are very important because they are rich repositories of floral and faunal diversity. They recharge aquifers and they help in soil conservation. We have many examples in India where our society, our community helps in conservation of plants. And we have example uh, of a village in Rajasthan called Pipalindri village where with the birth of every girl child a plant is uh, or a tree is planted. So here the village whole village gathers as a community and plants um, approximately 111 fruit trees in honor of every newborn female child. So you can see the pictures here where a child girl child is born and the father is planting a tree. Another story is from Dharhara village in Bihar where the girls are welcomed in world by planting at least 10 mango trees and this Dharhara model is also known as ecofeminism by experts and this uh, model has the gov Bihar government has incorporated uh, a chapter on this Dharhara village glorifying its rich tradition in class 5 textbooks of the state board to inculcate gender sensitivity activity among children. Even a short film called Mango Trees or a documentary called Mango Trees on this tradition has been appreciated in many. Now we will discuss how our religion helps in biodiversity conservation. So the plants are considered sacred in almost all religions of India. When we discuss Christianity and uh, plants, so we see that many plants or many flowers are associated with um, Christian religion, passion flower, white flowers, pomegranate and roses. 
so what is the importance of these plants in christian religion in christianity or the tree araucaria or the pine tree they are considered as christmas trees and they are decorated when the christmas comes so we usually find these trees in christianity when we see sikhism, sikhism uh, then we how we relate Uh, plants with Sikhism, so there are many plants which are considered holy in Sikhism, like berry tree. We can find uh, berry tree in the Bhanjani, called berry tree. In Golden Temple, Amritsar, we have Bair Sahib Sultan Puri Lodi in Kapurthala. So here also, the these trees are considered holy, and they we can uh, find them growing in Gurdwara. In Islam, the plants. are considered planting trees regarded as an act of charity and the and it is believed that planter receives blessings from all those who benefit from these plants especially the pomegranates are mentioned three times in quran and this is one of the fruits that will be found in paradise as a reminder of nutritious provision from god and as a sign of his artistry there are a number of plants which are considered holy and sacred in hindus in india and many plants are associated with a god or goddess so each of these plant is associated with at least one god or goddesses if we can see here in this picture that the flower of lotus is associated with lakshmi ji kadamba tree is associated with lord krishna and peepal tree is associated with with uh, buddha lord buddha. so in hinduism how there are many sacred plants and these plants uh, have uh, are sacred considered uh, uh, sacred because of different parameters one of the parameters is that some of these plants are associated with a deity for example peepal peepal tree is believed to be an incarnation of lord vishnu there are many trees sheltering any object of worship and these are called sthal vrikshas or uh, the, which are actually the trees that first sheltered an open air shrine and which was later replaced by a temple or shelter for the deity some of the plants are considered to be originated from the bodies or limbs of gods for example the flame of forest putia monosperma is believed to have originated from the body of lord brahma and rudraksh tree eleocarpus genitus rose from tears of lord shiva along with this there is socio economic importance uh, which plays a major role in ro- uh, local ecology and that is why these plants are considered sacred for example khejri tree prosopis cinerea is uh, uh, considered very sacred by bishnois of rajasthan and it is related to the crucial role of the tree uh, which uh, is plays a in important role in desert ecology it provides the community with food fodder and building now we will discuss some of the plants sacred plants uh, which are sacred in hindu religion peepal tree which is ficus religiosa it is said that buddha lord buddha achieved nirvan under this tree and is considered a holy tree by hindus and buddhists it is considered very sacred and plants are afraid of uh, people are Uh, afraid of cutting it this it is a straight tree of bihar odisha and haryana it is worshiped under vishnu and putra puja in almost every state of india bargad or banyan tree or ficus bengalensis is considered a pious tree and is not cut due to religious beliefs it is our national tree and state tree of madhya pradesh this plant is worshiped during what savitri puja by married women in hindu religion in up bihar and odisha married women tie holy thread around bargad during puja and believe worshiping this tree will bring long life to their husband bel or wood apple or ajal marmalus it is the straight tree of puducherry leaves and fruits are offered to lord shiva during mahashivratri we find the reference of this tree in athar veda it is considered a holy fruit and generally planted near temples kadamba or anthocephalus kadamba is associated with lord krishna uh, who is usually depicted playing his flute under it the flower is also sacred to lord kartikeya and the twigs of the true tree are offered to lord shiva the tree is also sacred to jains and uh, it is 
considered as 12th Jan Tirthankar is associated with this tree. Rudraksh uh, called Iliocarpus generitus. The Rudraksh bead is uh, offer, is considered very holy in Hindu religion and the bead is associated with Lord Shiva and considered very sacred by the Hindus. Rudraksh beads are the seeds of Rudraksh fruit uh, obtained from these trees and the legends say that Rudraksh describes them as tears shed by Lord Shiva for the benefit of him. Tulsi which is Osimum Sanctum is considered very holy in India and irrespective of any religion it is found in every home in India. This is this plant is worshipped as goddess Tulsi. It is believed to purify the homes and ward of evils. Every house has at least one plant. It Tulsi not only is considered holy but it is a herbal remedy for various ailments. The juice extracted from the leaf is given to cure fever, dysentery, skin infections, intestinal worms and to reduce vomiting. The stem is made into beads and used as rosaries by Hindus. So these, this slide shows many pictures of plants which are considered sacred or holy in one religion or other, another and there are endless number of plants which have religious significance in India because of this their religious significance they are not cut and in this way they are conserved mm. and those of you who want to study more about plants so this is a beautiful book written by Ruskin Bond with beautiful illustrations by Kolol Majumdar and this has a very interesting information so uh, I will end my uh, lecture with a very beautiful quote by George Morris Good man, spare that tree, touch not a single bow. In youth it sheltered me and I will protect it. Thank you for watching my video patiently.